guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm back with another beauty review and this is the very recently released Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Cream so this is a night cream as you can imagine by the title and the packaging on this is really slick it pulls out like this and then you've got this little thing that opens up and this it's like it's like a little advent calendar box or a little I don't know what's the word for those boxes that fold origami boxes yeah it's pretty cool huh so this is the actual packaging of the cream it is very heavy feeling it feels very rich and luxurious I really like that aspect of it it does come with one of their little um, spatulas that they normally have for moisturizing creams I totally forgot to bring it on camera but if you've ever used their other creams in their range I can't think of their names the water gel cream um, or the in not the indigo what's the other one called the purple one I can't think of it right now but if you've ever used those two creams before or some of the other touch of products you'll know the little spatula that I'm talking about so let's open this baby up um, so it is a serum in cream is the way it's described so it is meant to be a two-in-one product you don't really need a serum with it is basically what it is saying it does come with the little protector and that's the texture of the cream as well so it's extremely thick texture which is awesome this is a 50 ml product which is pretty typical of most face moisturizers same as the water gel cream that they have and all the other creams that they have so the scent of this there is a very light scent to it like most touch of products have the scent is kind of like a very natural, fresh kind of scent. They all tend to just have that scent, um, which I think is a really nice aspect of it because it's not too much, but it's also not too boring for those of us who do like a little bit of a scent in our products. So I do sincerely appreciate that part of the product. Now, as you can tell by the texture of the product, this is a very thick cream and is definitely perfect for a night cream I have a normal skin type I do get a little bit of extra dryness around my cheek area but I found that this did a fantastic job as an overnight cream it sunk into the skin really nicely um, you definitely felt that it had that moisture to it but it wasn't too heavy either which was fantastic and it sunk into the skin really nicely to the point where you could even lie down on your pillow within five minutes of applying, which is fantastic. And it didn't sort of rub off on my pillow um, either, which is something that I struggle with, especially with night creams, because I am a side sleeper. So it can be a little bit of an issue in that respect. Uh, yeah, I tried it out for a week. I really enjoyed it. I felt like you didn't need to use a lot of product to get a good result, which is always fantastic. Good money saving there. Uh, touch of products in general are things that I really, really enjoy and I've had great results with in the past. So I did kind of have a little bit of a bias going in thinking that it would be a great product, but also I did have some high expectations of it considering how well I have done with other touch of products in the past. And I think that this is a fantastic item. I think that this was something that was definitely missing in their moisturizer range. They definitely needed something that just had that little extra oomph. And I could see this being used during the day by someone who had quite dry skin. So if you're in that product category, I think you could definitely use this during the day without any issues. Like I said, it's very moisturizing, but it's not super heavy either. So it's got that nice balance of being a moisturizer that gives you a good amount of moisture but also doesn't leave you feeling greasy which is super super important and the smell like I said it was light enough to not bother me especially as a night cream that's something that even as someone who likes the scent in my products I don't like it to be over the top especially in night creams or products I'll be using in the night time um, because that can be obviously quite distracting for sleep so I love that part of the product as well Overall, my thoughts after using it for a week, I definitely noticed an improvement in my skin. I definitely noticed that my skin felt more plump and more luscious, I guess. And just it seemed more bouncy and um, my makeup just seemed to look a lot better um, on the skin. And when I woke up in the morning, I just felt very refreshed and my skin just felt really great. And I didn't have as much of those sort of that puffiness that you get in the face in the morning um, because of obviously um, the drainage sort of slows down at night when you're lying down. Um, so would I recommend it? Yes, 
I would. I think it is a really nice product. I think it did a really great job. Obviously, it is a high-end product. Tatcha is a expensive brand. So I'm sure that there are other options out there which would give you a very similar result at a lower price. Uh, but I think that this is a great product for a luxury brand, and I think it did a great job. So I really like that aspect of it. And also, I think the way that they've pull, done this packaging is really, really smart, and it's different. Um, and it just says, what does it say here? Thoughtfully created with care from the environment it came from. So it, there is a sustainability aspect to the product, which is great, and the packaging. But yeah, this is a new thing for Toucher, I believe, to have the packaging sort of fold out like that. But it does give a little bit of an extra layer of class to the product and something a little bit different to what the other brands are offering, which can be really difficult to do, especially in a beauty landscape when everything has pretty much been done already. So I think they've done a really good job with this product. And I think that everything like the packaging and everything is just fantastic. It's glass. It feels very heavy in the hands and it just feels luxurious. And um, Toucher's own, I think her name's Jenny. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Jenny Sai or her last name's Sai, T-S-A-I. I know that for a fact. I think that she does a really good job with her brand and she sticks to the core of the brand, um, which is giving you sort of Japanese inspired and luxury products. Um, and she hits the nail on the head every time. So great job with that. And you've got a great team behind you over there. And yeah, I definitely, definitely think this is a great cream and something you should try out if you're interested. So thank you very much for watching this review. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if there's any other Toucher products that you've been looking at um, that you would be interested in hearing a review about. I do have some other Toucher products around my house that I, I don't think I've done a review on, but um, they're kind of older products. So yeah, I, I didn't see the need to do a review on them, but if someone requests it, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, but until next time, Take care and I do hope to see you again. Bye for now.